prayers, 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 all oh, man, for that man, Young Blue. Unfortunately, Young Blue was in a robbery situation where, get, get this right, he was the victim. And guess what happened? Him and his crew gets arrested in Los Angeles after some goon type behavior just went down. Before we even get started with this situation, I need y'all to hit that like button notification bell. Let's start the show the right way. I'm your DJ Bless One. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Them goons in Los Angeles do not play at all. Them goons is looking to get a snack to eat. As my OG Star to Rain told me a long time ago, the streets gotta eat. So apparently, they got your boy, you feel me, lurking out in the streets out and about. They said Young Blue was in Los Angeles, right? And guess what happened? He was in Los Angeles. And the goons ran up on him. They ran up on his homies. They ran up on basically everybody who was in the venue that day. And it appears that four of his associates dealt with an attempted robbery and shootout that took place on Thursday night. And before I go there, we all know Young Blue, what he does when these shootouts and situations you feel me happen he's been in this situation several times he had to bring the draco as you see it out over there on the screen they had to bring the dracos out to their uh, oh i don't know if it was alabama i think it was a dallas show because he knew what happened so i'm shocked that guys like him who know what it is he know these goons are out here and this situation can happen to him so it means that it don't matter if you got a draco ar no matter what you got folks in them is still gonna come out for you now let's keep you feel me reading the rest of this report now they're saying a shootout took place with the robbery on thursday night in los angeles the shade room also you know they can exclusively confirm that young blue and his team were waiting for food at bossa nova on Sunset, you know that Sunset Strip is brazy out there in Cali. That's one thing I do know. In Cali, do not get caught slipping at the wrong places at like I like to say at the right time. Now they're saying at this situation at Bosa Nova on Sunset, while at the restaurant they were waiting for food that was being prepared, you know, for the team. They were preparing for their items, and then the attempted robbery took place. Like splat at nigga, we here. We here now this robbery that jumped on Funk Street. They saying during the incident, Blue and his brother are said to have exchanged gunfires with the per per uh, basically the ops, man. And while the ops didn't take anything, it appears that Blue manager was grazed with a bullet. It also is being reported that they robbed somebody next to Blue's team and then started coming towards them. And that's when gunfire was exchanged. That's what the sources of, you know, Shave Room is saying. This thing go a little bit more uh, 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 deeper than what we're reading. Let, let's read some more. I know y'all want to hey, get your drinks and get your things ready. We about to read more of this because this story is, is just getting a little too. It sounds like a setup in my personal opinion. Now, after the incident, Blue Teams left the scene but returned to get the car upon returning to the scene of the crime police arrested blue and his brother they were both charged with criminal negligence and possessions of a firearm they basically have now since been released and look my melanated brothers and sisters it don't matter if you're a victim or not these folks don't care about you and it is based on how you look they will arrest you even if you are the victim. So I understand leaving the scene because you don't want to snitch. You don't want to. We understand that. But be careful how you play this because the system is against you, bro. Now, let's read the rest. They're saying the sources. You feel me? Now, this is the sources. They're saying when they ran around the front, they caught Blue and his team on camera. No camera was on the side street where it started. The source continued to say the camera angle had only showed 
basically blue in the team. You know what I mean? Doing some goon type activity. You know, and, and, and it's unfortunate because this guy is winning, and I like his. I like what he says and what he does. Let's go to some of his Rolling Loud interview. It's so different for you. Yeah. Uh, don't remind me. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's it's just levels. You know what I'm saying? You just you just go through. Just different levels, and I, I'm just enjoying the enjoying the climb. You know what I'm saying? I say I, I really enjoy the climb, just the seeing the different levels. You know, because yeah. I really earned it and deserved it. So. No, definitely, you got a lot of different things in the works. You yeah. won best new artist at. So I'm trying to like, I, like I got, um, you know, so I got like Grammy nominated this year with her, but I want like next year. I really want to be like, you know, collecting my own Grammy nominations. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. Like I just put on my. Uh, on my on my radar and right. I kind of work towards it and I always be right like every time I say I'm gonna do something then I, I just go do it so it's you know what I'm saying yeah, it's Definitely. keeping it going yeah appreciate the tour and uh yeah it's gonna be big and then I'm doing a European tour next year too so I got a lot of you know different publicity you know what I'm saying about it like which other artists they have it backwards you know they get the publicity first you know what I'm saying so it really, but it really turned out better for me because I could, you know, I could stand on my numbers at the end of the day. Yeah, know? absolutely. Now, you're from Alabama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and you grew up there. Yeah. Okay, so what was Alabama like during that time? Uh, time I was growing up, man, uh, it's just, Alabama I always been rough. Like, people, like the part where I'm from, people just think it's it's so country, but, yeah. Cause everybody know Rich Boy. Uh, Rich Boy, right? Yeah. Yeah, but that was a while ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was not. That was not last year. That was like what? I'm brand. I got one of the hottest songs in the country right now. Why the? When I protect myself, I ain't seen in another city that I can't see in my own city. Hey, look, man, look. First of all, that this one need my show to add it to the show. Second of all, y'all. Rather to die, go viral for dying than go viral for having some legal sticks protecting them brand. I got one of the hottest songs in the country right now. Why the when I protect myself, I ain't seen in another city that I can't see in my own city. The been getting stepped on, been dying. Like how the scary just for protecting itself. Y'all so goofy and lame on this internet. Y'all think you really want to be doing this? Y'all think you really want to have to carry guns and sticks and shit just to got to make music and sing to the bitches? Go so get y'all song, man. Lame. Yeah. Unfortunate that Blue gotta go through this. He went through this. I hope he keep his head up high and understand the most high gonna be with you. This thing happens to the best of them. And you not no coward for the situation you was in. This is a, 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 a normal, which is unfortunate, it's becoming normal to get robbed or get in the situation. And it's becoming a normal when you the victim and you try to protect yourself and you still get arrested. This is normal to us and our community and culture. So it is not something for him to feel like a, a, a person played him, but he should look at his entourage or at least the folks he was in conversations on the phone with to understand that setups could happen at any time. And it feels like this was a clear case of a setup. How folks in them knew you were right there, even if you had your tour dates and all, how did they knew he was at the Bosa Rosa on the Sunset Strip? So you definitely gotta look at the people who work there. Maybe somebody was like, oh man, we got Young Blue here. And they told the homies, you know, them homies would be hitting lakes or whatnot. This is becoming too much of a normal. I implore all rappers to get the Draco 
like a young blue. You know what I mean? I think without them Dracos, he would have been another King Von, another FBG Duck, and rest in peace to those two kings, another Pop Smoke, all this situation. And, and a lot of times, a lot of these dudes I just named, they got the piece on them. So you still can get caught lacking even with the piece. Look, Young Blue, we feel you over here, gang. We understand what it is. You ain't got to say no more, gang. Just keep your head on the swivel, man. Robberies tragically happen all the time. And folks in them, I, I understand this. I'd rather be judged oh, by God. 12 than carried by 9 and buried 6 feet under the ground. Look, I'm your DJ Bless One. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed, gang. Salute.